Hi, I'm Helen from the Ensemble Outreach Team and today I'm going to explore Biomart with you. So, what is Biomart? Biomart is a tool which lets you export data from our databases. It's a useful way to access lots of information at once or perform complex queries without needing any programming knowledge. You can use it to download gene sequences or IDs from other databases and lots more. You can find Biomart on the top navigation panel of the Ensemble homepage at ensemble.org. So in this first example, I'm going to show you how to access Ensemble gene IDs from a list of HGNC symbols. The first step is to choose the database. Today we'll be looking at genes, so I'll select Ensemble Genes. Biomart will always show you data from the latest release, which at the time I'm making this video is release 83. If you want to use human GRCH37 assembly, you can access that through the dedicated site. Now I need to select my dataset. You can choose from any of the genomes we have at Ensemble, But for this demonstration, I'm going to choose human gene. This data set includes all of the genes of my selected species. To narrow this down, I need to add filters. Filters are your input data, whatever you want to find out more about. Filters are divided into these seven categories. Let's expand gene. These are all the gene-centric filters that you can choose. You can filter to genes using their IDs. You can type your IDs into this box here, or if you have a file with IDs in them, you can upload them using this button. This drop-down menu here lets you select the type of ID that you have. In this example, I'm going to be using HGNC symbols. And I'll paste them into the box. You may want to explore the other options of filters that we've got in Biomart. Sometimes it's useful to click on count to see if your filters have been applied correctly. As you can see, I've narrowed my dataset to seven genes. So next I need to pick my attributes. These are the columns or the type of output that I will see in my results table. So what would I like to know about these genes? The Ensemble Gene ID and Transcript ID are selected by default. I'm going to expand the external section. And here I will find HGNC symbol, and I'm also going to add the RefSeq protein IDs associated with the transcripts of my genes. Then click Results. This is a preview table displaying the first 10 results only. It's a good idea here to click Unique Results Only. This is because the data is transcript based, so you might find duplicated results due to multiple transcripts per gene. Each attribute that I chose is shown here as a column. If you're unhappy with any of your selections, you can go back to attributes and pick new ones. To view the rest of your data, you can click on this drop down and select all. A new browser tab will open with a table of all of your data. You might prefer to save your data as a file, in which case you can choose your file type here you should click Unique Results Only, and then Click and Go will download the file to your Downloads folder. In the first example, I showed you how to export a table with your data. Now I'll demonstrate how you can use Biomart to download sequences. For this search, I'll export the sequences for all the protein coding genes within certain genomic coordinates. I'll start a new query using the gene database of the mouse genome this time. Clicking New will clear any previous selections. Then I'll choose genes and the mouse genome as my database and dataset. For my filters, I'll expand the region option to see what we have there. You can filter your data to within a specific chromosome or pick a range of coordinates to search within. I'm going to paste my coordinates into this box here. These numbers here are genomic coordinates. The first number is the chromosome number followed by the start coordinate and then the end coordinate. If you want to specify which strand, you can add one, minus one, or leave it empty for both strands. I will now click on count to see how many genes are within these regions. This shows me that there are 64 genes lying within the genomic coordinates I've selected. 
Now I'm going to narrow my search to only include protein coding genes. I'll expand this gene option and scroll down to gene type. Then I'll find protein coding and select that. If I click on count once more, I'll see how many protein coding genes I have within my selected genomic coordinates. And here you can see that there are 11 protein coding genes there. I'm happy with my filters now, so I'm going to move on to attributes. I'll select sequences here on the right, expand the sequences menu, and then choose cDNA. Now I'm ready to click results. Again, the results page is just showing as a preview but we wanted to download a file this time, so I'll show you how to do that. First, I'm going to click Unique Results Only. You also have the option to download a compressed file or a compressed web file, which will notify you by email when it's ready to be downloaded. I'll choose that option. I'll need to put my email address in this box here, and then click Go. I'll receive an email when my sequences file is ready. Alternatively, if you just have a few sequences, you can download the file immediately by clicking File and then Go. You can see a file has appeared in my Downloads bar. I'll open this file and you can see a number of sequences here with the FAST A header, with the Ensemble Gene ID and the Ensemble Transcript ID followed by the sequence. If you have any questions, please click on the Help and Documentation links to read our Biomart help pages, or you can contact our help desk with the email address shown below. Thanks for watching.